Bear Tattoo here. Uh, I know I've been absent from my uh, channel here for a while. Just had uh, other things going. No football, so it's uh, not too much to talk about. I have been working on all my bee equipment, and so I've got a few videos on here about my bee equipment uh, and some of the things that I've been doing out the lake and some bees that are flying around out there. So stay tuned for that. And then... Uh, also, there's a very short video clip that I got of a coyote that was uh, out in front of the... I got it with my wildlife camera. Uh, so that's on here. Plus, there's also a, a website on YouTube that you can go to. Uh, the other night when I was out at the lake, I stayed out there. And I was letting the dogs out. And it was dark. And the coyotes decided to start howling. And... Uh, this uh, website, this YouTube video that I'm I'm attaching to the my channel, go there and uh, that's exactly what uh, what we heard on the uh, when the dogs and I were out at the lake. So hope you enjoy the videos. Bear tattoo here, out at the lake, messing with my bee equipment today, and uh, I'm trying to melt down wax so I can get some beeswax, and so I've got the shed open. And most of my beehives died this year, but there's some bees somewhere around here. There's a beehive around here somewhere. Let me kind of show you some of the things. I laid out a piece of foundation here that has a bunch of uh, pollen on it, and it's covered with bees. I don't know if you can see that or not. These bees are arguing over the, the pollen on that piece of foundation there. And then inside the shed here, I don't know if you can see it, but maybe 40 50 bees in here here's some of the the wax that i'm melting down it's covered in bees uh they're all over the place so for sure there's a beehive somewhere these are probably my bees that because i had a a hive that took off on me this year and was gone in the fall so i'm assuming they they swarmed on me they're probably living in a tree stump somewhere but they're just uh, they're just loving the fact that they're getting in on all this pollen that's around and and there's a little bit of honey too so you can see them they're on this piece of foundation here so I'm uh, changing the way I do my bees I'm having trouble keeping them over the winter so I'm switching to uh, foundationless uh, frames. I'm going to uh, use a different method. I've been watching videos by this Michael Bush down in southern Nebraska that seems to be pretty successful with his bees. So I'm going to uh, follow his lead and try and uh, get some hives to uh, make it through the winter next year. So we'll see what happens. So here's that comb that I had in the the other room or in the shed and now I moved it out here outside there's probably 40 50 bees that are snacking on this there's all sorts of junk in there that you can smell the honey in there and there's a lot of pollen there's a lot of dead bees in there too though so uh, just happy that uh, there's bees around they might not be in my hive, but somebody's got a hive or there are feral bees they are on their own somewhere, which uh, there were some last year too. I just have the sneaking suspicion they're my bees that just swarmed on me and went, uh, went and found a log somewhere to get into. So uh, anyway, hoping to, I'm getting some more bees this year and I'm going to change the way I do things. So we'll hope that uh, we do better.